And peace has returned to the three local government areas where the pledge to state government imposed curfews following Saturday's killing of travellers. The State Commissioner for Information, Dan Manjang, has told Plus TV Africa that the government is currently holding talks with stakeholders to ensure the peace is maintained. Plus TV Africa's Messi Ebokpo spoke with him on the phone. Tempers are high in Plateau State, where 22 people were killed on Saturday. The state government has since imposed coffees in three local government areas, just north, just south, and Bassa. The University of Jos has also suspended examinations, which could have started on Monday. But the Commissioner for Information and Communication, Dan Manjang, tells me that 17 local government areas in the state are now peaceful. The atmosphere in Plateau State right now is calm. But uh, even when we talk about Plateau State, it means the entire 17 local governments. But you know that uh, this issue is not in all the 17 local governments. Uh, it's in the in three local governments of just, no just north, just south, and then uh, Basa local government. And so the situation is calm. As I talk to you right now, His Excellency, the Governor of Plateau State, the Right Honorable Simon Bakola Long, uh, is going around uh, to see... On this, to do an on-the-spot assessment of the situation. Saturday's killings come less than two weeks after scores of houses were destroyed in Miango, an Irigwe chiefdom in Basa local government. The Iriguez are accused of carrying out the latest mayhem, but they deny that. Ironically, the killings took place as native Iriguez were burying persons killed in the Miango attack. This points to build up tension, often along tribal lines. The Information Commissioner, Manjang, says the government had set up institutions in the past to force the peace among conflicting interest groups. We have been assisting security with equipment, buying vehicles for them and motorcycles and assisting, assisting them financially. And that is why we, we, it's because of what we have been able to do that we have uh, secured Plateau State by the, thus far. Uh, in the life of this administration, six and a half years, we have we enjoyed relative peace, and it is because of the institutional framework and because of the, the, the proactive measures that the state gov government has been able to put in place. And that is why we have what is called Plateau State today. In the midst of these killings and attacks in Plateau State, experts are calling for caution and engagement so the situation doesn't get worse. Messi Ebopo for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.